Hello, uh, I'm Dominic Picalis. Um, growing up, we had a number of uh, stressful situations we had to deal with as a family. Uh, but the most stressful of all was when I went to university. Um, and I came down with a mystery illness, um, which at the time I thought was no one could explain really. Uh, um, I had to leave university after trying very hard. And uh, it, eventually I was diagnosed with uh, depression, severe depression, anxiety and OCD. Um, these were crippling and um, made sure that I was unable to um, do, perform any strenuous study, uh, work or have a career of any kind. I, I spent 22 years on the disability support pension. Um, after uh, roughly 15 of those years, uh, my psychiatrist and I um, managed to find a medication combination which actually helped. Um, the problem was that the side effects were so terrible that I only really took enough just to get by um, studying part-time first and then working part-time uh, and then a combination of the two. Uh, but it was not really a life. Um, last year, the end of last year, I found out about pyrrole disorder um, and in desperation I got myself tested found to be um, positive for it. Um, I was treated. Amongst other things I also had un under methylation and copper overload but those are other similar topics uh, to be covered. Um, after um, two weeks of treatment my pyrrole disorder was effectively resolved. Um, the symptoms were gone. I would call myself cured. To the extent that something I would never have considered before, uh, um, I am now able to consider the possibility that I may be able to study full time as, and obtain qualifications to work as a doctor, a medical doctor, to do, amongst other things, the same sort of thing that the medical doctor who treated me was able to do for me. Now, what is pyrrole disorder? Well, Back in the 50s, um, Dr. Hoffer, Abraham Hoffer, um, and his team observed a mauve substance um, on the paper chromatography um, of people with severe mental illness, such as schizophrenia. Um, this led to many hypotheses, but it was found that it would eventually to be treated treatable with uh, large doses of vitamin B6 and zinc. Um, this mauve substance was originally mis misidentified in 1968 as cryptopyrrole, um, it's a pyrrole ring, um, which is related to, it's, to a pyrrole from porphyrin, um, which is why it's thought to be related to porphyria. Um, this uh, misidentification led to many mistakes, many um, problems, because Although the person who did the identification reported in 1974 or 5 that it was actually a chemical known as hydroxyhemopyrrolin 2 own or HPL for short, um, independent researchers who went looking to try and confirm the theory or the whole premise of the, the, the theory um, failed to find cryptopyrrol um, in the urine of people with severe mental illness in large amounts which, in, um, which so invalidated to their minds and to the minds of the, people, the general public uh, or the scientific community, the hypothesis. So it was discredited um, and research continued on the matter but was relegated basically to the underground or what you might call the exile of alternative medicine. Although these scientists are highly trained and highly professional uh, and, and highly rigorous. Um, so, um, what is pyrrole disorder exactly? Well, there have been many theories as to what exactly um, the role of HPL in all this. Uh, the original theories were that 
HPL was the cause of the disorder in that it um, gobbled up, so to speak, uh, the B6 and the zinc in people's um, system uh, and made it unavailable and it was excreted in the urine. Now this has never really been proven and it's another stumbling block for the whole uh, hypothesis. Until recently the idea has been shifted towards the fact that the HPL is just a symptom of oxidative stress um, caused by the breakdown of heme um, uh, in, uh, which is a component of, of, of uh, porphyrin um, and uh, so therefore it's not the cause but it's, it is a marker for the oxidative stress which although it's not quite understood what the mechanism is the oxidative stress is um, a, compromising the metabolic pathways which deal with zinc and B6 which therefore necessitate huge amounts, much larger than the um, RDI, uh, sorry, the, the daily allowance, recommend daily allowance, um, uh, and which are, at the moment, are the only cure known for pyrrole disorder, amongst other um, cofactors and vitamins. Um, so therefore, yes, there is more research needed on the matter, but, and it may well be that it's just simply a oxidative stress-related vitamin deficiency, which people say, why call it pyroluria or pyrrole disorder? But more research is needed. Thank you. <laughs>